Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, let's try this one. Um, we are going to use a structure trust. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a family. So it will be structure trust. Okay, so now, um, so first, if I if I do a screenshot. So this trust is so this point is this point, okay? So and oh, and this point is this point. So um, this trust. So first we need to create these two, and then this will be the the height, the trust height. Okay? So this is. Uh, so of course, extend this, extend this, and then another uh, extra. Okay, so let's do it. So first here, so first we create a top uh, cord. So from this point to this, and another one from here to here. Then because we want to extend this one, so uh, we're not going to extend drag this point because this will, we will lose the constraint okay so so what we're going to do is create another reference plan ref oops another reference plan here rp di dimension and um, create a parameter so maybe uh, we'll just call it a, a maybe w1 okay so w1 and okay and then create another top course just from this point and uh, parallel to this this one extend to this point so click on this uh, toggle uh, join tangency and also uh, we want to this one to lock onto this reference plan so al tab and lock and another one top here to here so lock and the lock so now, so so you'll see if we can adjust this W1 to uh, uh, to adjust the the uh, this extension, the length of this extension. Okay, so the next step, let's to try to adjust the height. Okay, so go edit type, and so trust height, uh, maybe five meter apply and all good okay so the next step is oh, we're going to create this one so to create this one well first we need to we can't just draw a line onto this we need to have you know something to to uh, lock onto so we're going to create two reference plan and then once again two dimension okay so this time Let's create a new one. So double code W2. And OK. So now we can create. Um, this time we're going to use web. OK, so start from this to here. Start from here to here. And I think that's it. Okay, so now let's create a project and have a test. Okay, so go back to this family, load into the project, and so before, uh, actually we're going to do it in 3D view. Okay, so before we create um, that trust, so I just uh, place two column. Okay, so use uh, height, yeah, all good. So one here, another one maybe here. So now we're going to place a trust onto these two columns. So go to structure, trust here, and place it from here. To here and that's it so um, let's have a test so if we select this trust the height is here so four meter ah, is that right <laughs> three meter yep yeah. four meter all good yeah good so I'll just change it to four meter again and then 
edit type so there are w1 and w2 so we used to control this so w1 is for this so let's try it. so 1200 oh good and maybe uh this one so w2 control where this point is so um 27 oh good so um and yeah that's 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 it and also um so uh in this uh image so they are timber so but the this you can change uh you can load so what you can do is you can go uh structure click on beam and load family so just go find uh some structure so in your private uh family library so go to structure framings wood i'll just pick uh, one uh, i'm not sure which one maybe this one okay so just pick a uh, so random uh maybe uh this one okay so and then so we can go select this uh, trust and then in here so in edit type so here is a type so you can so this is a top code top code so um here you can change it to this one so apply and then become that and also the web so this is a diagonal one so just you can change it to this as well and that's it okay so and then you can uh, still so you can tab select individual uh, element you can unpin so for example you wanted to, to extend this a little bit and then maybe use a notch so you can uh, you can also do it to them yeah that's it okay so um, okay, so um, I'll quickly show you. So because this one, you control the height using the, the trust height, using the level at this point. But usually when we, um, so for example, when we create a roof on top of this, um, I'll just go back here, roof, roof here. So usually when we create a roof, uh, we always use pitch degree instead of you know top uh, height at the top so for example this is 30 degree and then i'm um, actually from the look uh, if you select this truss you don't know what the degree is so unless you you know uh, do a you know slope so for example this a slope oh it's not degrees i'll just i'll just quickly create a, a degree degree um annotation where it here so degree degree yeah okay okay so 31 degree and then there's no way you can directly uh, change it to to match 30 degree you need to do some calculation but you what you can do is um, you can actually um, go edit this trust family and then we can just do it uh, in, you add a degree um, parameter into it okay so i'll just do a quick screenshot of this so in if i draw this triangular shape this is a 90 degree so this is a height okay so this is a truss height and this is half of the length truss length so if i call it l divided by two so we can we know that this angle so if if i call it a so tangent a equals h divided by l half half of l so from this we can get h equals uh, h equals ta tangent a times l divided by 2 so we can uh, um, instead of control the height control the trust height we can control the angle and then from this formula so we can get the height okay so now let's do it so go here so family types create a new angle let's call it a um, instance okay so and oh, hang on instance or type uh, yeah instance and change this to angle angle type and okay and then let's just type in a number so instead of zero and then go back to truss height here truss height equals tangent 
a times l oh sorry l is twice length divided by two okay so now so you will see i will, will calculate the height depending on the uh, angle and the length so click ok and that's it so now if we load this into here over right so you will see this become 30 degree because this so see 30 degrees here so um, now i maybe i'll just copy this okay so and uh, we can just do this so you will see this the angle will uh, be still 30 degree and maybe I'll change this one to 40 degree and that's uh, that's it so you can use angle to control the height instead of instead of typing and just be careful because you will see this I think this is a bug <laughs> this doesn't change but when you change this one it changes as well so just be careful because um, and when you change the height it this angle doesn't change so just um, be aware so uh, be very careful because when you change the heart directly this angle is wrong <laughs> so if you and then if you change the angle here this height is wrong so um, yeah just double check <laughs> So at least you, you can you can use the angle to uh to so this one so let's check the angle 30 degree right and uh 50 50 degree and the height if I go um maybe oh just leave it I'll just leave it and that that's it um very very simple uh trust family and if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Okay, okay so that's it. Thank you. Bye.